Hey, welcome my friends back to Larry's Fountain Pen. And today I want to review a pretty cool, affordable Chinese made pen. The urine fountain pen. Let's go and look at it now. Look at the pen. I you know, it's the material used to make the pen is plastic. And it does look like the Lombi Safari. I'd give it that. I do like that black clip. It goes well with the colors. And it does, the color of the pen is really nice. It has like turquoise and green colors all mixed through the pen, as you can see. Really nice colors. It's got your ink window so you can see the level of ink. So I thought that was a pretty cool pen. So let's take off the cap and it does post. And it posts securely. You have this triangular grip that's just like the Safari. And what's cool about this, as you go down the grip, you see that yellow color kick in. So you have a yellow with that green going on down there, so it's a great flavors and colors. Really nice color. I, I, I like the whole, uh, the, the color pattern of this pen. It just all flows real well. I look uh, at it and it reminds me of the banana splits. Ah, banana splits. Okay, that's a good one. And here's what's cool about this nib. Look at the color of that nib. Can you get a good close up? Like, it's got purples and blue tones into it. Like, you know, sometimes when you burn steel, it gets so hot, it changes colors. That's what it kind of reminds me of. This is an extra fine nib, and it has urine, the, the name of the pen, on the nib as well. Turn it over, and there's your feet. But this is an interesting pen. And it does come with a converter. So, pretty cool pen at a real affordable price. I, I think they're like $1.49 or something around that area. I mean, if you're getting into fountain pen hobby and, and you want to know, you know, what fountain pens are all about, then, hey, try something at this level and see if you like it. And then you can also kill two birds with one stone if you're thinking about getting a... Uh, a Lombi All-Star or a Safari, but you're not sure of the grip, if you're going to like it or not. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I'm one of those that like it. You can check that grip out as well. Now, this nib writes more to me as a medium fine. A real nice, smooth nib. Not scratchy. Uh, a good looking fountain pen. So before I get to writing, let me tell you a little bit about the ink I'm using. Here is the ink I'm using. And the name of the ink... We're going to go with Guller. Yeah, it's Guller Green. It's a Chinese ink. And I've got these and some other inks I will be showing later. Uh, you get five cartridges as so. So, you know, I don't use cartridges, but what I found difficult was it was really, I couldn't put the cartridges onto this pen for some reason. Uh, so, I went ahead and just got the ink out with a syringe and I put it into the converter. But really, it, it is a nice color of ink. So, what are your thoughts about it? You know, my first time to even try this kind of ink. Uh, and here's some other colors I have. Purples, greens, browns, reds, a, a turquoise, blue, and then there's a black in here. Uh, I bought these inks about five months ago and just now even just getting to them. So, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try these in these Chinese pens. Why not? And I do like the color of the ink. So... And I will do a water test on it and all that good stuff later. So let's get to writing. But before I get there, I just jumped the gun. Let me give you some measurements on this pen. First of all, the weight is 20 G's. The length of the pen closed is 5.50 inches. 
posted, you got a 6.46 inches. Again, the material is plastic with that beautiful black clip, and it does clip securely to your shirt. It's not going to go anywhere. It's there to stay. It's got your snap-off cap. Get that nice little pop, and it does pose securely. So, you know, I was really impressed with the ink. I, I did like the color. So, let's do some writing so I can show you how the pen writes. Alright. Here we go. Just situated here. Alright. Excuse me. And this is my and I will let Mr. Announcer do the honors and read the quote. I long to accomplish a great and noble task, but it is my chief duty to accomplish small tasks as if they were great and noble. Uh, written by Helen Keller. There you go. And it doesn't have any ink flow issues. It writes extremely well. It's not scratching. We'll try, try a little wet test here. And it does have some wetness. Reverse writing. It's not a dry nib at all. And you do, you do get different line variation when you do the reverse writing as well. So, a real nice pen. If you're on a strict budget and you like fountain pens, this may be the pen for you. Affordable, great looking colors. 
a very nice nib that's smooth and has a touch of wetness to it. It's not scratchy. It's not a dry, boring nib. Uh, the pin just pops. I love the colors. And, you know, on the top of the finial, it's black. And uh, it uh, has the logo of the urine on top. Right there is the urine. If you can see that, it may be hard to see, but it's right there. But, you know, I have many of these fountain pens because they are great writers. They have performed very well for me. So, here is the pen. What do you think about this pen? Leave your comments below. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day. Until next time, my friends. Be safe. Don't text and try it. Later.